Alright, so welcome to the first video on the Year 9 Mathematics series. What I would like to talk about today is basically just do a revision of some of the arithmetic skills that you would have acquired through the previous years. So, a lot of people always have trouble with the concept of just adding or multiplying numbers in a sequence because they never know which operation comes first. Now, you might be tempted to think that if you're doing something like this, that you would just simply add 4 plus 3, which is actually equal to just 7, and then you will multiply that by 5, which would give you 35. But that would in fact be very, very wrong. And the reason for that is that there is actually an order in which these operations need to be performed. In this particular case, we need to know that multiplication comes first. And the reason for that is that whenever you have multiplication between two numbers, it is implied that they are surrounded by a set of brackets or a set of parentheses. So anything that goes inside the brackets needs to be operated first. So this operation needs to be completed first. And then we're going to perform the operation on the outside. Now, generally, even, even though this is a correct way of writing it, because if you put it in your calculator, it would still give you the correct answer, which is 19. But generally, it is better to make things more explicit by putting a brackets around the operation that you know should be going first. So whenever you have something like multiplication or division, it is usually better to put the brackets just to make things clearer for whoever is reading this particular um, set of operations here. So basically multiplication comes first and then we're going to have 4 plus 15 and that's going to give us 19. And that is going to be the answer you get if you put this operation as it is on your calculator. If you wanted to do the opposite and you wanted to say for example add 4 plus 3 and then multiply the result by 5 which is exactly what we did in this case then what you would need to do is put a set of brackets that surround the 4 plus 3. So in this case, because the brackets are enclosing the 4 plus 3 operation, we need to perform this first, and then the result of that is going to be multiplied by 5. So that's essentially what would happen and would give us 35. And essentially, if you put this in your calculator, this expression with those brackets there, this is exactly what you're going to get. So you need to be very careful in the way that you define these operations because it's going to give you two different answers. But in mathematics, there's no such thing as two different answers to the same problem, especially when it comes to just adding and multiplying numbers together. Now let's look at another example that is a little bit more involved. We have 12 divided by 4 multiplied by 3 plus 1. What is that going to be equal to? Well, the order of operation says that division should always come before multiplication. So there are three operations that we have to take uh, into account here. The first one is division, second one is multiplication, and the third one is addition. So division comes before the other two, so that means that we have to essentially enclose these two numbers inside two brackets like that, and we're going to perform the division. So 12 divided by 4 is going to become 3, then the result of that, we're going to multiply it by the 3 on the outside, which is right here. And then that's going to give us 9. And then we're going to add the 1 at the end. And then in the end, we're going to obtain 10. So that's going to be the final answer to that problem. So essentially, division comes first. Then that is followed by multiplication, then addition, and then subtraction. Now, of course, the last two are, are kind of an ex a special case because it doesn't really matter whether you subtract or add something in a special order. It's pretty much kind of the same operation. But the other two are quite important. So you should always divide numbers first and then multiply them. So if you were to put this in your calculator, for example, then the calculator would interpret it as this operation coming first, followed by this one, and then adding the 1 at the end. So it would still give you 10. If you wanted to multiply first, then you would need to put this into a set of brackets such that this would become 12, and then you would have 12 divided by 12 equals 1, plus 1, 
and that would equal to 2. Alright, so you have to be very, very clear in how you write your brackets and how you write the order of the operations. Okay, so let's have a look at yet another example. So suppose you have a set of an operation that is inside a set of brackets and then it is raised to some power. So what should we do first? Well, the rule tells us that anything that is inside of a bracket needs to be sorted out first. So in this case, in this case we have 1 plus 2 inside the bracket, so we add those two numbers together to get 3. Now, after that, we perform this operation. So we're going to raise the 3 to a power of 2 and that is going to become 9 and then in here we're going to have the same now you might think well why don't we just add the bases together well that should not happen so exponents so anything that is raised to a power needs to be um, completed first and then we do anything that is related to addition subtraction or division and multiplication so in this case we perform this operation first then we apply this operation to that result this can be done by itself so this can be done individually that will give us 4 and then we have the minus 1 so here we have 9 plus 4 minus 1 that's going to be 13 minus 1 and that's going to become 12 and at this point you might be wondering well how do we actually know what comes first there is actually a very very important well it's actually not um, uh, not that hard to remember and it is just this acronym called BOTMAS so basically it says that the first thing that you do is the brackets so if you have any operation inside of brackets such as 3 by 3 or something like 1 plus 2 plus 3 or even something like 2 to the power of 2 then multiplied by 3 then you should always perform the operation that is inside of the brackets first and then do the operation on the outside so this is what comes first always the second operation in line is the order so the order means that when you raise something to some power or you have an exponent as in this case that's the second operation that we need to perform then the third one is going to be division so if you have something like in this case, where you had the 12 divided by 4 times 3, division comes before multiplication, then multiplication is the fourth operation, and then that is followed by addition and subtraction. So it is very important to remember the order, because sometimes even trivial problems like these ones might seem like very simple to you, but say that you didn't have a calculator around you and you wanted to calculate this mentally in your head, you might actually be confused if you think that the answer will be 2 if you did the multiplication before the division. So you have to be very careful with that. In the next video, we're going to do a lot of examples on this so that you can actually solidify your knowledge on that because this is going to be very, very important for the next topics that we're going to introduce.